Ross Durant. The counterplay. All right, back like we never left because we never did leave. You got your boy Love on the Hate One and your boy Real Talkers in the building. And we talking real boxing, man. And we finna kill all this Dave Benavidez versus Canelo conversation. Um, Man, where do I even start with this one, man? First of all, Canelo hits way harder than Caleb Plant. As you guys can see, um, it was times in that fight when Caleb Plant was keeping... David Benavidez at bay. So just imagine a Canelo. Another thing is Canelo hits way harder than everybody. I mean way harder than everybody that um what's his name? What's the kid name? David Benavidez is faced. So we gotta throw that in there. Um I feel like if anything, I said this on the last radio call too. I feel like if anything, after this fight with Caleb Plant, Canelo see like you said, sees him as more basic and easier to beat. Um, not saying Canelo didn't always feel that way, but I think yesterday, um, Dave Benavidez, even though he won, he did show a lot of vulnerabilities in this fight. We're not going to act like in the earlier rounds of that fight, like Dave Benavidez wasn't down there getting dominated. So I personally feel like once this fight happens, I got Canelo winning even by stoppage, you know, because Dave Benavidez... He's a big dude, and he should be fighting at 175, yo. So, that's my only problem when it comes down to Dave Benavidez, like, being so bigger and stuff like that. But even with all that being said and done, I think Canelo still F this dude up. Like, talk to your boy, man. Yeah, um, piggyback off of what you said, uh, David Benavidez does have a lot of size. Uh, for 168 and um, it is very frustrating to see someone as big as him uh, draining himself down so low but um, mm -hmm. the, I think the, the problem that Benavidez is going to have is Canelo is not built the same way that Benavidez is uh, for 168 you know he's shorter, stumpier and he's just wider but he's he, his, his muscles are a lot uh, denser at 168 than Benavidez's are. You know, Benavidez has to have his, his muscles drained a little bit more. Whereas Canelo, he, you know, he's sitting pretty pretty decent at a 168. Um, and his, his power, it's, it's far more proven than Benavidez's at 168. Ben, Canelo has stopped everyone uh, at 168, whereas Benavidez is still, you know, he's going 12 rounds with Canelo's leftovers. Thanks. Um and in that fight, you know, he showed that when it comes to someone who can stick and move, he gets frustrated and he can't corner them. Um, Canelo moves way better than Caleb Plant. I think I think people are crazy when they say that uh, that Caleb moves faster than Canelo. Because I mean, if he did, then how was Canelo able to track him down and, and beat on him? You know, Canelo. Um, to be fair, though, Canelo's good at cutting the off the ring. Of the fight, he was faster, you know. But yeah. I think all that all that body work that Canelo is able to do, you know, it puts a lot of how uh, Teddy Atlas says, you know, it puts a lot of well, a lot of water in the in the well in, in the basement. So it, it slows him down, and I think uh, Canelo's a genius at that at, at slowing down a pressure fighter. Um, stylistically, Canelo has a a, a much better. Uh, well, he has a stylistic advantage over David Benavidez. Because uh, while David's a uh, a pressure fighter, Canelo's a, a boxer puncher. So mm -hmm. Canelo showed that he can he can move his head and he can bob and weave. You know he's shown that throughout his whole career, um, and he's shown that he has power and he's able to mix it up. So mm -hmm. that's a stylistic advantage over a pressure fighter. You know somebody who's smart enough to as a boxer as a pure boxer, but able to have the tenacity of a, a pressure fighter. And uh, that's going to overcome a lot of David Benavidez's attributes because when you talk to these uh, Benavidez fans, the first thing they bring up is, oh, well, he's younger, he's taller, he's bigger, um, and he's he's stronger. But you can't even say that he's stronger anymore because he wasn't able to knock out Caleb Plant. Yeah. So David's, David's best thing that he's done throughout his career was outsize his opponents. And that's it. Um 
Canelo's fought much bigger opponents. He's fought bigger opponents most of his career. Um, and he's outclassed them. He's shown that his size doesn't matter, that he can, his skills outweigh his, uh, his physical attributes. Whereas David Benavides is the opposite. He's still relying on a lot of his physical attributes, whereas his skills aren't uh, as developed as Canelo's. So Canelo's going to wash this kid, man. Like, it's going to be embarrassing. Um, and a lot of the people who I argue with online are going to be disappearing from my uh, feed. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you know how they do. They go run to another fighter. We all know how that, oh, that yeah, shit go. It was Triple oh, yeah, G. Yeah. It was Triple G at first, and now they ran to somebody else. That's all they're going to do, trying to make yeah. another. We already know what time it is when it comes down to that. Or they'll run back to Bibble. But I will oh, say yeah, this because. The next, absolutely. Yeah, that's all the hell it is. But I will say this, though, just to piggyback off something you said when you said about um, the foot speed of Caleb Plant. See, that's the thing. Caleb Plant slows down. If he has that foot speed for 12 rounds, he could be dangerous. Another thing with Canelo's. I, I didn't want to cut you off earlier. I just want to let you get, you know, your rocks off. But Canelo just, he's so good at coming off that ring, man. And I think a lot of people underestimate that. What pressure and power, body shots upstairs. So, I feel like that can trouble David Navidez. Another thing is, I don't see Canelo really going back. Caleb Plant kept going back yesterday. I'm like, he was standing his ground here and there, and I understand that was the game plan, and it was effective game plan, especially throughout spurts of that fight. But I don't see Canelo just running away from um, David Navidez, and I feel like it's going to be explosion in the middle, and... David Benavidez, as we both know, Canelo got the best chin in the damn world. I don't mind see him stopping. No, Canelo, that's for damn sure, like a lot of people be trying to say. And he couldn't even stop Caleb Plant. Um, but I can't wait to see that fight. And it's going to be a good fight. Don't get me wrong, because one thing I do give David Benavidez is, you know, this fight's be pretty entertaining. We all know Canelo being entertained to fight, so it's going to be a good fight. But I just see Canelo whipping that boy. Okay? I just really see that. And is there any more thoughts? Any more thoughts on it? Real talk? Um, No, just that, you know, there, there's not really much to talk about here, man. Like, it, it's it, it's clear as day that Benavidez is not on a Canelo level. Mm -hmm. um, he's He hasn't shown any, any level of head movement, footwork, uh, anything if you notice in that fight caleb was able to stand in front of him for a little while um canelo's head movement is way better than plants and it's it i feel like it's going to be another uh danny jacobs situation you know and benavides show that when, when it comes to somebody who can move that he can't pin him down he gets frustrated and he starts swinging for the fences um Caleb showed, you know, I think Caleb, I think Caleb kind of exposed Benavidez, you know, he exposed a lot of his defensive flaws, a lot of his, uh, you know, inability to cut off the ring, you know, he was, it took a long while for Benavidez before he was able to actually put him up in that corner and him up and, you know, work, uh, and it, it took Caleb having a gas out, and that, again, that's Caleb's fault, you know, he doesn't, he just doesn't have that gas tank, mm -hmm. um, and a lot, the, the, another thing that I hear from a lot of, uh, Benavides fans, which uh, let's be honest, they're not Benavides fans. They're just Canelo haters. Right. Disguise. Perfect. Yep. And um, the, a lot of the things that I'm hearing is that oh, well, Canelo's old. He's past it. His gas tank is this, that, and the third. You know, he struggled with Triple G. But it's like y'all are ignoring that Canelo had a wrist injury. Canelo was up at 175, coming back down to 168. Like y'all, y'all are ignoring a lot of these things. You know, and I think it's really gonna bite him in the ass when uh, when Canelo comes back stronger and just exposes this kid. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be hilarious if you ask me. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be like man, it, it's just a, I have a feeling it has a lot to do with these 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 fathers who poke their nose in their son's business when it comes to boxing. It's like they don't shut up, and mm -hmm. it's to the detriment of their their own children, you know. I feel like Jose Benavidez Sr. needs to shut up, you know, talking all that trash to Canelo because, I mean, just, I mean, just look what happened to the lead-up to the Caleb Plant fight, you know? Like, then he slapped the shit out of Caleb Plant. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, nah, man. I think I think they need to chill out. Uh, that 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 fight's coming. The, anybody who thinks that can, uh, Canelo's not going to fight him is just delusional. There's there's nothing that Benavides holds that can really beat Canelo. If you ask me, that they're comparing him to a Bivol. He's not Bivol. Benavides is not Bivol. Heck no. And I remember David Benavides said he could stop Bivol. You didn't hear that part. No, yeah, I heard that audio. That's so stupid. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I've sparred people. I can stop them. Just shut up. Yeah. That sparring doesn't mean shit, man. The sparring is work. Yeah, that's all. I'll, I'll go like thirty percent on you because I know you can't do shit, and you get a little bit of you get a little bit of good work. You think you can knock me out? No, man. That's not how it works, man. Like uh, Benavidez just needs to get all that. Oh, I I sparred with Triple G and Bevo, and you need to get that shit out of there, bro. That that doesn't matter. Those aren't real fights. That's work. Hell yeah, man. But, those are my final thoughts, man. I think I can't wait for this fight to happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, if not in September, it's definitely happening next uh, single de Mayo. He's gonna expose the Mexican cookie monster. Bro. Yeah, we we killed this one. <laughs>